Welcome back. This is Drax TS, the co-founder of the Famous Fox Federation. And in this video, I'm going to be covering everything about borrowing soul against NFTs using our lending platform, Citrus. This video is meant to cover everything from the basics to the advanced features within Citrus. If you're interested in getting more information about lending NFTs in general, we have another video on that. You can access it by clicking the pop-up in the top right-hand corner of this video. So let's get into it. When you go to the Citrus page at citrus.famousfoxes.com, this is what you will end up seeing. So there's information about being a lender and then there's information about being a borrower. So a few quick steps as to how to take a loan out against your NFT. So if you click on start borrowing now, that will bring you to the borrow page. What you will see is a list of collections on the left hand side. You can filter through that list by typing out your, the name for a collection that you'd like to see. Next to those collections, you'll see some important stats. So the floor price is FP. Available is the number of loans available. The current pool is the current pool size for NFTs. You have the highest and last offer. And then there's some stats for that current highest offer shown to the right hand side here. You'll also have this activity feed that you can scroll through and little information icons that give you an idea of what the loan offer was, the APY and duration for that specific loan. As a borrower, there are a few ways you can accept an offer. The first way to accept a loan is if you want to do the quickest option, which here is the highest offer, 45 soul. The APY is 200%, duration is 14 days. I can simply click on this green lightning bolt and that will bring up that offer. I can then select my NFT and hit confirm loan. And once I confirm that loan, uh, that will be me taking out that specific loan based off of those terms. As a famous Fox holder, you do get 50% off of our fees. The interest is still due in full. However, for our platform fee is a cut in half. So once you're done there, you can hit confirm loan and that will successfully grant you 45 soul to your wallet. Your NFT will be frozen, so you cannot sell or trade that NFT. And then you have those certain terms that you'll have that loan out against your NFT, and you just have to pay it back uh, in order to get access to your NFT within that period of time. The second option you have for taking out a loan is by clicking on the little plus option on the right hand side. And from there you have the option of doing what's considered bulk loans. So I can click on as many offers that show up in here. And in this example here, we have four different offers chosen. I can hit choose NFTs. I can then select from my menu, the four NFTs I'd like to confirm. And this will show the offer, the amount of interest, and then also our fee. Once you have that all set up, you can hit confirm loan and that will then take out those four loans with those specific terms on them. The last option I have for taking a loan out is under this list NFT option. As a borrower, I can create my own terms. So as an example, if I have a rare NFT, a rare TFF in this example, and I want to create terms for it, perhaps I have two of them. I can just go in, create those terms, find my specific NFT and create those specific loans for those foxes. And what will happen is on the lender side, they will now see those NFTs listed under NFT listings, and they can accept those specific terms if they'd like to by clicking fund loan. I can also delist them directly from this page if I wanted to, which I'll go ahead and do. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to give you an example. I've set up kind of a test loan here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to take a loan out against one TFF for one soul. I will confirm that loan. Now that I've accepted my loans, let's go to my profile to see how to manage the loans that I have out. On my profile, you get brought to your dashboard. So you can see the active offers that you have and then any loans that are due on your side that are due soon, that a 24 hour period will also show at the top here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my loans page and at the top, you can see your current active loans. So what happens for a loan is that any period during that duration, you can repay that loan. You'll pay the offer plus the interest plus the fee. 
and you'll get that NFT back. Other options that you have is if I want to reborrow at any point in time, if another offer comes up with terms that are more to my liking, I can reborrow it against any other terms that are available. And I can just confirm that. So it will show me the difference between my original and my new offer. Or I can default on this NFT when it becomes due. And with defaulting, it simply means I just let the particular lender have the NFT as I've already gotten, you know, this one soul. When a loan does default, you do still have the option as a borrower to repay that loan. However, if the lender collateralizes that loan, then they will take that NFT out of the system. So you won't be able to pay it off. So you have up until the due date to actually pay for that NFT. Beyond that, if the lender doesn't claim it, you can also still pay for that NFT and get it back. But if they claim it, you're no longer able to pay back that specific loan and the lender will assume control over that NFT. Below there, you can just see your past loans that were due. And on the left-hand side, there is a stat section as well that gives you your current active offers, past offers on loans, and then your active loans and past loans, um, as well as the interest that you've also paid for those. One thing that also helps with managing loans is notifications. And we are integrated with Dialect. So in order to get those notifications, there is a notification button in the top right hand corner. If you click on that, you can sign a transaction and get access to Dialect. And then from there under the settings, you can determine how you want those messages to be sent to you either via email, phone or telegram. And I will show you on the screen here what the telegram messages look like for either paying or being repaid on loans. If you have a current active loan, you will get a notification 24 hours and two hours prior to that uh, time expiring on that specific loan. So if you do not want it to default, make sure you do pay attention to those notifications and pay that loan prior to that time expiring. And that's all there is to borrowing soul against NFTs using Citrus. Hopefully you've learned some good information from this video. If you have any questions, jump into our Discord. And again, you can access our site at citrus.famousfoxes.com. Thank you.